first of all, what is this? What, what, what model? This is brand new. Hole number one. It's hole number one. It's the Navigator 24. And uh, it was finished about 10 weeks ago. I got to run it actually over in the Ukraine on the reservoirs there. And let me tell you, this is incredible. So it just arrived about a week ago, unloaded it, got it to the show, did a couple tweaks on it, and now it's ready, pri it's ready for prime time. It's a 24 foot navigator. It replaced the old 730, which was a great successful boat for us, an incredible riding boat. This is just taking it to another level. And I see fishing rods and pods let's, and everything. Come let's on, go man. guys, let's Come jump on. in there. Do you want me to take off my shoes, boy? No, we're good. good, you're good. We're good, all right you're guys. Good. You're good. Welcome you're to the brand new Brig 24. So, so Alfred, this boat is highly, highly specced and we, we're kind of going to slim it down for the, the US market, but because this one, it's going to be my personal boat for a while. Okay. We put everything you could on it. So, mm -hmm. first we started with putting a windlass. I'm not sure if a 24 foot boat needs a windlass, but we got one on this. You know, the Navigator 26, which oh. we'll have at Miami, we'll have a windlass, but the 24, we put a nice windlass in this. It's got a Samson post in the front. You know, it's great for for docking the boat. Okay. It keeps the uh, the dock lines off the tube, so potential shave for you know, when you tie the boat up for quite a few days in the dock, you know. You know, this is all set up for, as a utilitarian, simple fishing rib. It's a true center console. Mm -hmm. So there's no forward seating here. Okay. It's all about workspace, you know. We've got uh, storage, deck storage down here. Which you could probably just fill that thing full of ice. Put maybe only 30 inch fish in there, maybe bigger. Who knows? This is um, more storage and easy access to uh, the electronics for serviceability. Nice, very easy, nice and clean, accessible, big door. I like that. So one of the cool features on, on this, you know, especially for Bragg, this is the first time we've done it. Okay. Is the battery switches always used to be in the transom. You had to climb under the cushions. You know, it, it's, it's new for Bragg. Make it easy here. We put the battery isolator switches in the side of the console. It's easy. Making life a lot easier. This is a uh, fiberglass hardtop we put on. It's got the oval tube. Um, you, we added some uh, speakers to the back here. We could probably add some lights and it's easy to add more equipment to this. Um, kept it simple. We just put a small stereo system with four speakers in here. And we're running the uh, the two 12 inch Simrads. And what Brig's doing on all their big models is acrylic cutting and flush mounting these electronics. And it gives you that big like, you know, impact and statement and all those guys that, you know, the, the three quarter million, million dollar center console kind of gives you that feel, but on a small rib. Dude, what is up with this wind? This is what we do. We ride these waves in these ribs when there's wind like this. So, the other thing we added, uh, Brig made for this boat, are the side pods. I like that. And, you know, it, it basically feels like the tube's a lot higher. So, you know, people with small kids, it gives it, makes them a little bit safer. Also, you know, West Marine and Defender and all those guys, anywhere online, you can buy so much equipment that go in rod holders these days. Yeah. So, you've got the four rod holders on, on the tubes, two big drink holders, and then you can add rod holders yourself to the arch on the back. Now, I see that you have a, also a seating area back here facing aft. Yeah. But you, if somebody didn't want to have that, you can maybe have like a rocket launcher and use a little bit more space back here, Boyd? I think because this is four bolts that hold it down, Okay. if a customer wants to modify it himself and change it, it's easy. It's not It's not molded into the deck. Okay. So for a customer to do something himself, he could be pretty creative. Um, as far as it goes at the moment, this is the standard option from Brig. It's a flip-up bolster seat and the rear-facing seat. This is a lot of seating. I'll tell you, a lot of seating. So, in, uh, I definitely think uh, this thing is going to uh, go pretty fast with this uh, 250. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. We this, know about fast a little uh, bit. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I think this is the max power. I would probably do the 225, even maybe 200. You get away with it. Making sure you put the V6 motor rather than a 400, a four cylinder 200. Um, you know, it does ride nice. 
Uh, the first time we ran this, uh, we were doing 50 mile an hour wide open throttle. It was super stable. Really so, so 50 mile an hour boat? Yeah. Wow. So. All right. So we got we got a mercury package on this now. Can we put anything other than mercury or is it yeah. stuck with mercury? Yeah. It's okay, a, so we it, can. It's a 25 inch transom. Um, and so it's basically anything. I just recommend staying with a six cylinder, 200 to two, 250. Um, this particular Mercury package, we're running the, the DTS, okay. the, uh, which is a flyby, which, which is the flyby wire for Mercury, and we're running the uh, the CMS midsection, which is so we can use a standard C star steering, and so it's how, not like the Brado. Boyd, how big is the tank? Like fuel? It's a 90 gallon. Wow. So, oh man, you'll you'll go forever, and this thing probably weighs nothing. Nah. To tow, right? Absolutely. You could. This is a Bimini and back on on one tank, easy. Bimini and back in one tank. Easy. That just sold a bunch of boats, boy. So. Actually, he's talking about selling boats. You guys are selling so many, so many brigs. I see, I'm seeing them out of uh, what I saw five years ago, you guys are putting out there now, the whole uh, industry. We, we're really fortunate that we work with a company that has the bandwidth to supply us a lot of boats. And, you know, we're going through that double boom. We're going through that COVID boating boom. And there's sort of a rib boom going on as well. People are discovering these for the first time. And you know, and part of it is because of you know our partnerships with Carefree and, and Freedom. Those guys can't get enough of our boats. The boat clubs, getting, guys. That's what he's talking about, yeah. the boat clubs. And it's just, it, people are buying what they know and they're using our ribs all season long and going, where have they been all my life? Yeah, you know? and, so, and they get introduced to a rib boat and you know, yeah. through Freedom Boat Club and all of a sudden they're like, hey, I only want a rib. That's Once it. you go, once you start with a rib, you're not yeah. going anywhere else, guys. It's uh, no, it's it's been we're very very fortunate, you know. And and the brig in the U.S. we're selling more of the bigger brigs than the smaller ones, and and this next year, I can guarantee you, will automatically go to one of our top sellers. Can they can they reach out to you through Sirocco Marine? Is that what we're gonna yeah. tell yeah, them to go? So we're here at Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, and we're with the dealer Sirocco Marine. Uh, and so you can buy them locally through here in Florida or through Sirocco or again Brig USA. Price point on something like this boy, uh, boy I kind of uh, like the way we see it right now. Fully fully loaded we're probably about a hundred and twenty thousand dollars. 120 guys yeah. 120 and you're on this 24 footer monster. Hey um, look how long are you gonna have this one here? Maybe we can go fishing. I wanna go fishing, but look, teach let's me, go fishing. Teach me to fish because I've got some rod holders here. I got some rod, I don't know how to fish. So all right, all right, so look I, I, look, I got the rods, we'll catch the bait, and uh, maybe we bring Baby Fish Killer. You know, okay. Baby Fish Killer is my best friend. Okay. He actually just won a world record in Florida for catching okay. the biggest bass. Show me how to fish, I'll show you how to drive. <laughs> oh, yeah. let's go guys. Okay. I'm from okay. Montana with Boyd from Sirocco. Jamie! I'm never going on a sea trial with you ever again! Yeah, boy drives slower than I do. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes, he said you're slower than him? Oh, hey, that's a beatdown, guys. Hey, Boyd over here, Sirocco Marine, Briggs, Booth, guys, a lot of options.